morning, good morning, everybody. Woohoo! So happy to be here this morning. Yay! I sure hope y'all are ready because we got big, big stuff going on this morning. And I'm waiting for Facebook. Oh, there it is. Waiting for it to catch up. Oh, here we go. All right. So, so much stuff to tell you guys this morning. Seriously, there's lots and lots. So, I hope that everyone is well this morning. <sighs> yes, I've had only a few swigs of coffee this morning. Um, the good morning, Nancy. The male lady came and I was still in my jammies, but that's okay. So, oh, I have to share my cup. Let's see, whoop, wrong way. There we go. Out of my mind, back in five minutes. Kendra, that's how I'm feeling this morning. Nancy, you betcha. All right, good morning, Lynn. Good morning, good morning. So if you're just popping in, make sure to say hello. And first thing on the agenda is reminders. The first reminder is that Stampin' Bingo, Stampin' Bingo, I know it's a month away, and I've extended the cutoff to get your money to me until Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday. So, oh, good morning, Paula. Um, the other reminder is you've got to today and tomorrow to get into the Ding Dong Ditch. So, if you're looking for a class to go, um, the January class to go is all about Valentine's. I have... Some of the items on their way to those people. And um, good morning, Kareen. Good morning, Jane. So glad you could join me, honey. Um, yeah, it is good to see you. See you, yeah. All right, so those are the reminders that I had. But I wanted to share a little bit more about this mystery adhesive bag. And I'm super excited about it. Because, you guys, no matter what, you're a winner because you get adhesives. So, included in the adhesive bag is regular dimensionals, mini dimensionals, glue dots, and a multi-glue. Who doesn't need those things? We all need those things. So, if you purchase that, and there is a post on the Whispers and in Ink on this page... Um, to get the pricing and the links and the numbers and all of that good stuff. Anyways, you will, um, once the order is through, if you're online or contact me direct if you are local to me. Um, and then once I see that the order is in or when we're talking on the phone, I will ask you to pick your number. I still, I have some numbers available and if we get 30 people to participate, you guys, 30 bags, I should say, because you can pick more than one bag, just saying. Um, this is um, this is a great way to get some adhesive and potentially win a prize because you never know what numbers I'm going to pick that are going to have the mystery prizes. So, or the mystery additions to your adhesive bag. Now, uh, hey Sue, hey Kathy, good morning everybody. Wow, you guys, so exciting. Um, let me break this down just a little bit. So, everybody's going to get a bag of goodies, but a bag of goodies, figuratively of course. Everybody's going to get a bag of goodies, but some bags are going to have something extra. So I figured why not? Let's do it. And this is going to be a celebration event, which is totally fun because the additional items that I get go into the prize containers. So you're going to want to get your bag or multiple bags. So because celebration this year is January and February, and it's also going to be in June and July. So watch for this event at the end of June. Just to give you a heads up, something fun, something different. Hey, Anita. 
All right, so that's a little explanation of the mystery adhesive bags. The big announcement that I want to make is that, you guys, we will not be doing coffee and cards the Tuesday edition anymore. Um, and it's good because I'm going to be doing a live in the evening because I'm going to be doing classes in the evening. So, on those Wednesday evenings at 6.30. Now, I'm writing that down because I was tossing between 7 and 6.30. But I have a lot of folks that are on the Eastern Time Zone. So, I want to make sure that um, I start early enough, but not late too late for everybody. So I figured 6.30 is probably a pretty good time. So join me this coming week, Wednesday at 6.30 so that, so that you can um, see what I'm going to be doing on some of my online classes. This week, however, and I'm going to take my snacks. I have snacks on the table, you guys. Take my snacks out of the way. This week... This is not a class, you guys. This was a Dollar Tree find, okay? This is a cute little wood, and it's got a plain back. Cute little wood stand. Stands up all by itself for $1, all right? So on Wednesday, what we're going to be doing is we're going to, we're going to stay, we're going to Jennifer this. That's probably the best way to put it, right, Paula? Jennifer, Jennifer this up. So if you have a Dollar Tree by you, then you're going to want to hit up the Dollar Tree and see if they have something similar. I do know they had an easel one too. And I'm, yes, Paula, all central time. 6.30 central time. Um, they had a couple of different things. So, and it doesn't have to be exactly the same. I liked this one because it didn't have anything in the back. And we're, I'm going to decorate the back side and I want to leave the chalkboard side because I may end up having to use it. So that's what we're going to be doing on Wednesday. So everybody go hit up your Dollar Tree and find your little wood stand and, and um, I will give you a little gro grocery list, a little grocery list about what you're going to want to have on hand so that you can see what we're going to do with that cute little um that little sign i guess would be a good way to put it but so 6 30 central time is wednesday and then that's when we're going to be doing that uh, little sign so i hope that everybody that I hope that everybody is going to uh, join me on Wednesday for the very first episode on Wednesday evenings, and I'm super excited about it. So, but today, let me make sure, oh, yeah, I have my list. Um, let's see, talk about Wednesday Lives, share the Dollar Tree, explain the mystery adhesive bags. I have one thing left. But it's going to call for me to flip the camera, so hang on. So, I went to, yeah, right, Paula? I figured you would like that. Jennifer, it up. All right, so I went to, you guys know I went to Wisconsin, and I keep forgetting to share my swaps with you guys. So these swaps, I have them in plastic, these swaps, and they're double-sided are the shoe box swap so kathy you're gonna love seeing these because they were a lot of fun so these were the shoe box swap and i have to tell you oh hey jay yours is in here if you're still here yay so here's one of the swaps the shoe box swap and you guys she fussy cut that out for us we didn't have to do it but i love love and i do have this set so we are going to be working with this this is i you know what you guys how bad is it that i don't i don't know what the name of the stamp set is because i call this the dina stamp set because this was her million dollar set so that's one of the shoebox swaps 
And then here, I love this one too. This is the hydrangeas, you guys. Look at how pretty, and I love that. Can you see that little tag? How cute is that? Love it with the little snail mail. You guys, see, I'm not the only one that's using that snail mail twine all over. All over. This one has that pool party. I actually have that out for us to use today. But this one, the snail mail. And then, and then this one. And oh my gosh, Jay, if you're here, I think the next one is yours. Pretty perennials. Thank you, Kathy. Oh, good. It's not this one, but it's that one, right, Jay? Isn't this one yours? That one was Jay's, and you guys, it's so pretty. That part, you guys, I used the Winka Stella and pulled in that, and I, you won't be able to see it, I don't think. Oh, well, you can a little bit, but it's super cute. Let's see. Winka Stella, where are you? There we go. There you go. There's that little glare. So there's the Winka Stella. Love it. And then this one is Kendra's, you guys. Kendra did her very first shoebox swap. I was so proud of her. This one was hers. And the little ladybug. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then we have this one. Was this? Wait a minute. See? Jay, I forget. Oh, nope. Yours was the blue one. Then I don't have it in here. I don't have it in here then, Jay. I don't remember where I put it. I think I put it out because I wanted to use it. So here is, here's another dragonfly one. Super cute. Again, using that cute little ladybug. And then that one was Kendra's. The blue dragonfly. I don't have a blue dragonfly one. I must not have it in here, Jay. I'm super sorry. And then this one, because it was super cute. I really liked it. Then this one was the strawberries with the um essay, the celebration paper. Oh my gosh, you guys. This paper. This one's yours. Yes. Okay. Sorry about that, Jay. This one's Jay's. Yeah. Now I remember. There were so many dragonfly ones, you guys. It was kind of confusing, but that's okay. All right, so here is um, the strawberry one. And this is just using some Whisper White and, and little panels of the DSP, which I really, really liked. There, Kendra, you missed it. We were talking about you. And then this one, I have to, let's see. Where did I tuck that? Hmm, <laughs> hmm, all right, you guys, I can't get in it. It won't let me in. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This one, you guys, the donkey one with my favorite paper. Oh, love this one. This one is a gift card holder. How cute is that? Super cute. And then, of course, more snail mail twine. All right. Hey, Kim. Okay, so these were swaps. And I do have, oh my gosh, I have much, much more swaps. Hey, Kathy, were you going to be participating in the shoebox swap or no? I'm just curious. So those are, those are the swaps. They're super pretty. I love that one. Actually, you guys, it was this one that had me buying the Pretty Perennials stamp set and dies because there's coordinating dies to that. Amazing. And I don't remember who made that. Oh, it was all good stuff, Kendra. No worry. It was good stuff. So that's what, that was swaps. And that's everything on my list. So I have everything covered on my list. Yay! But let's get crafty, you guys. Let's make some Valentines. Now, and I have a funny story to tell you guys. <laughs> You guys are going to love this. Hang on. I'm going to flip. All right. So I go and open these cute little, they come like this, sweet little Valentine cards and more. 
And they have cute little envelopes. And yes, there are even patterns on the inside. And that's gold foil. We all love a little bit of sparkle. And then, oh, hey, Caitlin and Becky, too. Girls, things are going crazy this morning. Okay, so I opened this up. And I'm like, ooh, cute envelopes. Here's, here are the, um, and you guys are gonna laugh at me. Here are these cute little pieces right here. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. And then there's your card bases with two different patterns. Loving it, loving it. And then I go pull the catalog and I'm like, hey, wait a minute, where are those stickers at? And I'm freaking out. Cause I'm like, what the heck, what the heck? Yeah, so I'm searching through and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to scamper and figure out what I'm gonna do instead because my kit's incomplete. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, see? Out of my mind, back in five minutes. That's why I picked my cup this morning. So here are, these are two-sided is basically what I'm trying to tell you. So you've got the You Are Loved or that cute little sweeping motion. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I love these colors too. So, but, and you guys, I have, I have a couple of tips for you, but you're going to have to stick around to the end. So, or catch the replay. So there's your little sweeping thing. And then you've got these cute little hearts. And then you've got this little panel of hearts. So basically, basically, you can do cards either um, vertical or horizontal, okay? Vertical, the wrong way. I did it the wrong way. But anyway, so you can decide. Because this one and this one are the only ways, no, nope, this one too. Those are very specific on which direction they go. This one could really be any direction, which is kind of cool. All right. Oh, I'm out of my mind this morning. You guys, I really am out of my mind. All right, let's get these envelopes out of the way. And now here's the other cute thing. Here's the other, oh, thank you, Becky. My color street nails with my little, and I don't know if you guys can see. Maybe not. There's a little snowman right there. It won't focus. Sorry. He is super cute though. But anyways. All right. All right. So here's our card bases and stuff. And here's the thing, you guys. You can either leave it plain like this and just use the parts and pieces as they are. Or, and that is a big or, I pulled in some of that pool party ribbon because that's the blue that's in there. And here's the other thing. Do you get a paper pumpkin? I know I get paper pumpkin. Not only do I get paper pumpkin, but how cute would a little snail be? Or you could use that love right in one of these. Sending love your way, the be mine would be really cute. Um, on the other, this piece. I'm already forgetting that there's a back panel, you guys. All right, you could use the Be Mine on that. Don't be afraid to pull. Don't be afraid to pull out your paper pumpkin stamp set for this one. You know, if you don't have a Valentine's that you think is gonna work, it's all good. But I pulled out this Valentine keepsake because we've used this and I love that little bow and I'm thinking that that bow part would fit right there. And we're gonna try it out. And because, because we've used it before, we can kind of get a good idea. Yeah, see, that'll fit. We can put that little bow on there. Super cute. And maybe do our little, we like our little heart garden here. So we can use that on an inside. We can even use that heart garden on that. And yes, paper pumpkin, exactly, Caitlin. And I did pull in some scraps. I did whisper white so that we, if we wanna do um, sentiments and whatnot. And you guys, this high Valentine that's in the paper pumpkin, 
This one is a simple, easy sentiment to use. But I did forget, of course, I forgot to grab ink. So, Poppy Parade. And Melon Mambo. And Pool Park. All right, so there is the colors, ink colors that I grabbed. I also grabbed our Hunt Park Heart Punch Pack, in, just in case we decided we wanted to do something with that. See, Jane, this is why you come and visit, because you always see fun stuff. Love it. Love it, love it. But Paula will tell you, Paula will tell you, and Kendra, and Kim, and even Becky, they'll tell you that coming to my lives will hurt your pocketbook. I'm just saying. <laughs> but it's fun. It's all in fun, right? All right, so which one should we do first? Which one should we do first? Okay, so I think we're going to do one plane and one of these and, and I really like this one on the stripe. There really isn't directions, you guys. I don't know. What do you think? Should we do? Okay. We have this one and this one. So should we do it this way or should we flip them? See, and that's a nice part about these pieces. Yes, Kim, see? I'm telling you. All right. Should we do them the way? This is, this is the way. I don't want to say directions because you guys know I don't follow too many directions. So, I mean, I do, but I don't. So, mm, Paula, love it. Love it, love it. Thank you. Yes, I do try to soothe the soul just a little bit. So, thank you very much, honey. I appreciate that. All right. So, Becky says flip. Anita says don't flip. So, I think... And we're lucky, you guys, because we can do however we want. I think for sure, though, that I'm going to put that, and I'm going to do it in Melon Mambo. I'm going to definitely do that little heart belong there. Paula says flip. What are we doing? Oh, you guys. I've got two for flipping. And one for not flipping. You guys, let's see. So, Kathy and Jay are in Wisconsin, right? Jay, I think you're in Wisconsin, too. Oh, we can do that. Okay. I like Kim's idea. So, you guys, I don't know if you're getting the big snow snowstorm, quote, unquote. But... We are supposed to get quite a bit of snow here. And Kim, it's supposed to hit us and not you guys as bad this time. Because Kim's from northern or farther north than I am. So there's our little heart. Oh, you guys, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then, and see you guys, look. Okay, so... Not a huge ad, okay? Not a huge ad, but oh, so stinking cute. Look at that. Love it. All right. And then I'm thinking we're going to use the Be Mine. Now, I think we're also going to do this as a simple stamper, you guys. So I'm going to pull in the Poppy Parade and say a little prayer. You know what, Jay? We haven't had 
We haven't had much snow here either. It's it's still very, very brown here. I know that like where Anita is, they've had some snow and they're supposed to get hit pretty good. And and all that. So I'm I'm looking forward to the snow. Now here's the best part, you guys. If we don't like how this turns out, we can we can put a piece over it. And I'll put it up enough so that we can do that and it makes sense. Okay, so there's our be mine. And this is a small one, you guys, so gotta be careful not to rock it. Oh, yeah, see, can't see it. So we're gonna pull in. I don't know that I wanna go white. Do we want to go white or do we, I don't know, I don't know. I think we'll do a little white, but we'll do a little, maybe we'll do a little sponging. Maybe, maybe. And I have my trimmer right here, so no worries. That might need to be re-inked. Maybe that's what the issue is. Who knows? Well, you got, well then, Jay, you got a lot of cold, girl. If, the, if they're, you got 18 inches of ice on the, that's good for ice fishing. Too bad um, Erica's not here today. Kendra, tag her so that she knows we're talking about her. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, you guys. I love the snow. Now, Kathy and I met. Kathy, weren't you? Where did we meet the first time, Kathy? I'm trying to remember. Oh my gosh, you guys. Was that in Michigan, Kathy? I think that was in Michigan. And we'll just put that little be mine right there. Oh. Guys, these are super cute. Sue lives in Minneapolis or out by Minneapolis, Minnesota. And Sue and I met at an event. Oh, that sounds yummy, Kim. Oh, thank you, Kendra. All right, so here's our be mine, just like that. And I think, I think we are gonna put that one on there. And my dimensionals are gone, you guys. Got a big order yesterday. Hey, you guys, for those that are local, um, paper shares here ready for pickup, Caitlin. I know that you already know, um, but But for those that are local and the hubby's got the car so I have no car yep we met in Milwaukee so that's right Michigan yes that's right I thought it was out at um, Rhonda's oh my gosh I had so much fun so much fun Oh, no, we met in Lansing at the Lansing event. Is that the first time that we met, Kathy? I thought it was before that that you and I met. All right, so here's our cute little Be Mine one, you guys. And we didn't do a huge ad on that. I really like it. I think that we need something on the inside. Little something, something. And I don't think... I think I want to do, I think I'm pulling out the hearts, but don't be alarmed. We're only going to, yes, met Sue at the same event. Exactly. Because, you know, I drag Paula everywhere I go. Lovingly. Oh, thank you, Lynn. All right, so. We're just going to do 
a little stamp over here. And the only reason I pulled my piercing mat out, you guys, is so that, um, so that I didn't stamp on my table. Just put some hearts down on the bottom. Just some hearts. So here's card number one of making our little Valentines. So, and this one exclusively used that Valentine keepsake. And then this one, I think this one, you guys, this is going to be the one that we're going to pretty much leave to the way that it is, except for the inside. And I'm grabbing my chamois. My chamois, chamois. I think it's time, you know, I was looking, Kathy, I don't know if you saw, but Christine brought a new chamois out. And this one, wow, this one does look really bad. All right, sometimes I forget. All right, so and then this one, I'm just gonna put, this, oh God, close ink, Jennifer. Yeah, I know it's really hard to drag you, isn't it, Paula? <laughs> oh, Paula, Paula. All right, so there, there, and there, and here. There we go. I hear a vehicle, Lynn. I think. Oh, that'd be fine, Caitlin. I saw that. Thank you. All right, so here's this one. And see, you guys, what I really like about this set is that you could, these could be five minute cards, you guys all of these with no stamping. This could be, oh my gosh, this could be a no stamping Saturday, but, but, all right, so here's these two. All right, so let's go crazy. Let's go crazy on one, you guys. We we'll just have to do one. No, definitely can't miss that diesel. Okay, so which card base? I know what Anita's choice is going to be. Well, hey, Kelly from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Welcome to the party, girl. Oh, so which one? We got to pick which one. Which one? Should we do the pool party with the stripe? Or should we do the girly girl? And I have to be honest, I know. Becky, no ribbon. I know, right? Oh, Lynn, exactly. So long as the chamois works, that's all that matters. Exactly. But I do, you guys. All right, so here's the thing, too. Here's the thing. Getting back to the chamois while I'm making your making. Oh, hey, Sharon. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. So here's here's the chamois. You guys, that's what it used to look like. <laughs> and that's where I kind of feel bad because holy cow, it looks so pretty over here, you guys. It looks so pretty. And then look, it's loved. That's that's what I'm going with. It's loved, right? And off he goes, Lynn. Oh, Caitlin. <laughs> All right, so Paula and Caitlin want the blue one, but everybody else is going for the girly girl. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Because we got time... I think. All right, we're gonna put these to the side so they're out of the way. And how could we, we'll see, oh, I know what we can do. Let's flip this one. All right, so we're gonna do the stripe. I like the stripe this way, and I like the stripe with this. And what I think is, 
Caitlin, we're gonna use, and Paula, we're gonna use this Pool Party Pretty Ribbon. And, 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 yeah. Oh, they're feeling ganged up on girls. All right, so we've got our knot. Here's our reverse tweezers. So for those that don't know what reverse tweezers are, we're gonna hold that knot just like that. And I know that there are bow maker girls in the house, but that's okay. And we're gonna tie our bow. For those of you that don't know, I actually used to be a florist. So ribbon is your friend. I love ribbon. And our ribbon is the bomb. I love Stampin' Up! ribbon. All right, so there is, and we'll bring in our ribbon scissors because this is our beautiful ribbon. We don't want to do any jagged cuts on that. So there's that. Oh yes, everybody, we love the reverse tweezers. All right, so then we've got this, but here's the next ad. You guys, I knew that we would use those. We're gonna put a couple extra little hearts on there. Let's put this on with our dimensionals. Do, do, do. All right. All right, so I know somebody who's doing the big panic shock today because you know this snow apocalypse is coming. There we go. So our ribbon is somewhat straight. There's that. And here we'll bring in our little mini dimensionals. Now, I know that that one is Melon Mambo, but I'm okay with this. So we'll do, we'll do, I think we'll do four other ones. And this one, and we'll do this one, but we're gonna need, we'll do, oh, that one's got a broken bottom, so we're gonna throw that one. Yeah, Becky works at a grocery store, you guys, and I'm sure the big panic shop, the big panic shop. Oh, Caitlin says everybody there in Mishawaka. Okay, all right, so I cut my little dimensionals because I knew that it wouldn't fit. Yeah, I'm, I'm happily staying home today. Kim's coming to visit me today. I'm super excited about that. Haven't seen her in forever. And then we're gonna add our little dimensionals. All right, so here's our little souped up version just for just for um, Paula and Caitlin, but then now we're gonna go all out girly on the other one. I have some girly girls, you guys, and I need to make sure, actually, I like that just like that. So here's that one. How about that, Caitlin and Paula? That one good? Love it. Love it. All right, so we're gonna tuck that one. And then we're gonna use this one. And we're gonna use this one because we're going all out. Good to go, Caitlin said. Exactly. All right, Caitlin. Oh, Sue, Sue C, 
reverse tweezers. I'm telling you. All right. Hey, Paula, you know what we forgot on this one? Oh, Kareen, double check how you're commenting, girl. All right. So here is, we got to do a little Wink of Stella on our hearts. And I think I'm even going to do it on this one. Because I know both Paula and Caitlin love their Wink of Stella. So, Wink of Stella girls, there you go. All right, so I'm gonna put that one up so that we don't have to worry about that. But let's let's dis let's talk about this one now. Oh my goodness! I need to go grab some ribbon, 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 and I think we're gonna do. Ooh. Oh, wait, Kim, wait till you see what I have. Oh, I'm super excited. All right, so we have choices. Because you guys, I love choices. Love the choices. Okay, so we've got the petal pink ribbon. Or we have the gold ribbon. And then this is going to be our last card, you guys. Let me get this stuff organized while you guys are deciding. I like them both. Oh, this is going to be troublesome. And then... Oh, that's all right. Kareen, no worries. All right. Oh my gosh, Kareen, everybody's Facebook is all messed up right now. And I mean everybody's. All right, so, petal pink. Okay, Kim says petal pink. Becky says gold. All right. Hmm. All right. Then, then, let's grab some gold foil. Sharon says gold. So we got petal pink or gold ribbon. That's what we're trying to decide here. There's our foil. Kareen says gold. I think the gold is winning unless we get Kathy and Jay and everybody else commenting and changing my mind. I think we're going with the gold. I think so. All right. So here's my question. I want to go, I think we're going this, we're going to orientate lengthwise. Paula says pink, so that's two for pink. Two for pink and three for gold. Oh, see, I knew Anita would pick pink. Oh, 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 pink's winning. Kelly... All right, I'm gonna cut this out in the gold. See, that's why I give updates. All right. I do think that I like the pink because I'm gonna be using this gold foil. I think we're gonna go with the pink. And Lynn says gold. Oh, Kendra says gold. You guys are killing me. Oh, 
You know what? Here's what we'll do. I know what we'll do. We'll do both. Because that's the other thing I like to do. I love to mix my ribbon. All right. So we're going to do the gold. And bring in our reverse tweezers. And we're going to take the pink. Maybe we'll do the reverse. Let's see what that looks like. I think I like it this way better. Okay. I agree. I agree. I agree with Lynn. Lynn says the gold is too thick. But it doesn't mean that we can't use a part of it. Now, guys, I do not cut this ribbon with my ribbon scissors because it's got that metal thread in there. And we're going to just tie our knot. So then we got a touch of the gold ribbon. There we go. Love it. Yep, Sharon, you know, that way then everybody's happy. We'll shorten this tail just a little bit. Just like that. This one's a little long. Now, here's a tip for you. See how that's bowed up because I tied it a little bit tight? No worries. You can squeeze that. It'll just tighten your knot there. So just hold it on the ends of the paper and pull this way. Okay, and it'll loosen up and there you go, it's flat. Tightening it in a little bit tighter is always a better thing than tightening it too loose, but even if you tighten it too loose, you can put your dimensional strategic in the back. We've done that before. Oh, Jay likes that too. Very good. Yeah, I think with the pink, I think with the pink, I like it with the pink like that. All right, so then... I'm going to clean up my ends here. And this end too. So there's what our ribbon looks like, you guys. Love that ribbon. Ooh, you guys, that's turned out really pretty. However, I'm thinking that put it down more on that little melon mambo part so that we can see it through there. How's that? Cute. All right. Then... Take off our backs. Just like that. And we're gonna do our card base. Originally I was thinking this way, but definitely doing this way. Like that, and then we've got our, our foil heart here, which we're gonna put dimensionals on that. All right, guys, think about what we want to say inside the heart. Do we want something inside this big heart, or do we want to just leave it as the foil? Hey, Christina. That's all right. We're happy to have you, honey. There we go. So there's what we've got so far. How do we want to work the sentiment, you guys? There's our cute little card. 
Do we want to put another heart in there? Do we want, and see, there's lots of options. I know. We could just put a cute little sentiment in there. I don't know. I love a good saying too, Anita. So I do, and I'm and I'm pulling this in. This is the paper pumpkin one, you guys, and this is exclusive. Now all the stamps are exclusive to paper pumpkin only. Oh, Christina. Oh, she got her paper share yesterday. I'm loving that sending love your way for this one. I think that would be a good one. Or you have my heart would be another good one. Oh, I like that. You have my heart. <gasps> what about that? Oh, and Christina. So tell people, for those that have never gotten paper share with me, tell people... Did you get some extra goodies in there? I think I need some more coffee. Nancy, you've been quiet today. Where are you at? Quiet, quiet. And you guys, I think I think we're going to use this one, and I want to use a small circle for that. And I think, I think we're going to use the Melon Mambo for that. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And let's see how big this really is. You have my heart. We need a smaller heart. Hmm. Let's see, I need to go. Oh, look at you, Christina got extra celebration papers. Well, I hope Christina that that was a fun surprise. Will that fit? Oh, no, not quite, almost. All right, so you guys, we used the Be Mine ones last week. And I'm trying to find a little heart to put, and there isn't a little one. I don't have the other ones, so that's not gonna work. We could do a little circle, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Just do a little circle. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have another idea. Oh, see, now do you see why that one's my favorite? That's gonna be too big. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. Help me out, girls. There we go. All right, so tasteful labels. That's what I ended up finding as a little circle and we're going to do it in white and we're going to use, oh, I know I'm, what should we use? I'm thinking Melon Mambo for ink. Could. Let's try this and see what we get, Jane. Or J, sorry. There we go. Lean too hard. And then we gotta cut this. Because 
without dropping everything. Bring our little mini out. I love this mini, you guys. So fun. Perfect, perfect. Come on, there we go. Yes, definitely. I agree, Becky, Mel and Mambo for sure. All right. You have my heart. Love it. Love it. Oh, you guys, I still have the cards over here that we did last week. That card that we did last week. I still have that over here. All right. So we got that. And I'm thinking... Grabbing the petal pink. Do, do, do. Cause this is just a little, aw, Anita. This is just a little too white for me. There we go. Definitely. And we'll put dimensional on that. See, we have to, you guys, sometimes you just, Erica, we were talking about you earlier. Talking about ice fishing. There. Oh, now all we need is some gold. Oh, some gold enamel dots. Where are they? There they are. And I'm going to use the baby ones. The baby ones. Oh, love it. There we go. All right, my girly girls. There are the cards that we made today. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did awesome. Love it. Here we go. So here is Strictly by What's in the Kit. This one is with just a little extra stamping. This one is adding ribbon and our little um, Wink of Stella hearts. And then this one's our gotta have it all. That's all right, Erica. We love you. No worries. All right, ladies and gents, because I do know that Becky's hubby sometimes catches my lives too. Love it too. Oh my gosh. Oh, see, I knew it. Jane was talking about ice fishing, or Jay was talking about ice fishing, and Kim, too. All right, ladies, oh, there we go. Now, I told you to stick around, right? So here is another tip for you guys. I gotta grab my catalog, which is buried now. When you're ordering things that have colors like this one, and I know I'm close, but grab your grab your mini, you guys. I'm on page 16, and that's where this kit is. But if you're just starting out, here's a fun information to know. Because down on the bottom here, Calypso Coral, Gold, Melon Mambo, Petal Pink, and Pool Party are the colors so that you can make sure that you have at least one ink color to coordinate. Or you can always, always use your black ink as well. Or an early espresso or soft suede. Neutrals are always good. But that's my tip for you guys. 
Don't forget anything like this that has colors, the colors are in the book. So, yes, the catalog. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so I hope you guys have a great day getting crafty. Don't forget to um, get your bags so that you can participate in the mystery adhesive bags, you guys. And if you still have questions about that, let me, I forget I can switch the camera. If you have questions about that, please let me know so that we everybody can be informed because I don't want you guys having any questions about that. I did talk a little bit about it in the beginning, so if you are catching the replay, go ahead, do hashtag replay. And Paula, what do we ask everybody? If you learned anything today, then help others learn things too by sharing this video. Thank you, you guys, so, so much for coming today. I hope that you have a great Saturday, and I'll see you again on Wednesday evening at 6.30, right here.